So I live in Los Angeles, and uh, as of sun Saturday night at midnight, uh, LA County reinstituted a an indoor mask mandate. Now, whether or not uh, anyone will be enforcing that mandate um, is a one question to set aside. Uh, I believe it is very difficult to put the cat back in the bag once the cat's been out, maskless, roaming around, hugging, shaking hands, all the shit we said we would never do again. Let's come back. Oh, yeah, I'm doing it all. Right? Now, so personally, I do wear masks indoors, especially if I'm working, like I'm, I'm hosting a comedy show. I'm on a comedy show. Um, but when you're trying to have fun, when you're trying to enjoy yourself, if you're fully vaccinated, you got to wonder, why the F do I wear a mask? And then you realize, oh, yeah, it's for the 30 plus percent of Angelinos who will not get vaccinated and many of whom are fully aware of the benefits of science, who are fully equipped, who are fully capable of getting vaccinated. But because they read too much goop or because they read too much, too many Q drops for some reason, which is the same thing. I think it's just goop, right? Like Q drops are basically goop. They all drop down. Whether you're QAnon or WooAnon, these anti-vaxxers at this point are selfish MFers. Like, I don't really know how else to explain it. Now, I know some of you will say, look, I'm immunocompromised. I am super sympathetic to that. I want to say that the worst thing for immunocompromised people is COVID-19. That will be worse than the side effects of a vaccine that will not last or will be as deadly or will be deadly at all when compared to COVID-19. So there's that. I get it. I've straight up had people say to my face, they won't be vaccinated because, well, you know my story about because we, I vibrate on a higher frequency. When I beat the shit out of you, you'll vibrate on a fucking frequency, bitch. I'm sorry. But I've had people say to my face, oh, I think we should stay indoors. I like quarantine. I think it's good for humanity to be indoors. Cool, bro. How many family members have you lost to COVID? How many children do you have living with you, unable to leave to go to school because of COVID? How much work have you lost because of COVID? The amount of selfishness at this point for not getting vaccinated is beyond me. And yes, there are systemic reasons why this is fucked, why, why it should not be on businesses to enforce things like mask mandates or what I'm going to advocate for, which is checking vax cards. I understand that it is, a, it is annoying and it is it sucks to check vax cards, but why the hell did we get vaccinated? Why did we stay indoors for a year and a half? And at this point, we're just kowtowing to a death cult again whether or not you're a death cult who's like a progressive lefty you know you know i whatever like a probiotic death cult or you know or a far right death cult it's the same death cult because ultimately people are blaming one another for their own goddamn death that's what's happening oh i just believe if you just cleanse your body you won't get co fuck you all right I'm, I'm clearly, mad. I've been mad about this. I'll stay mad about this for a very long time. Um, it, it is on us to check Vax cards. I know it sucks. I don't even have a digital copy of mine. I'm trying to figure out how to get a digital copy of my Vax card. But I don't want to not do comedy shows or go to a fucking bar anymore because some asshole won't get vaccinated. Homie, you stay home. Let us go out. Because clearly people aren't being honest. And of course, this is all in the wake of the Delta vi variant. The Delta variant is far more uh, uh, contagious. It's f it, and it also actually is far more deadly. Pretty much the two worst things, right? You thought this was going to morph in a good way. It's morphing in a crap way. And I just want to play. This is from a, a Louisiana medical officer named Catherine O'Neill, who spoke publicly about the kinds of cases that she's seeing in Louisiana, who is being impacted by the Delta variant. Uh, she's naming specifically people in their 30s and 40s who are healthy, otherwise healthy. And she had a plea, and this is what she had to say to the people who are resistant to, to getting vaccinated. That is what Delta variant is. It's coming for us, it's a beast. 
That's what we're seeing in the hospital. That's why we're nervous. That's why I'm here to talk to you today, because it's different. I want to be clear after seeing what we've seen the last two weeks. We only have two choices. We are either going to get vaccinated and end the pandemic, or we are going to accept death. A lot of it, this surge and another surge, and possibly another variant. That's it. It's no longer about what you heard on the news or what you think your hesitancy might be. If you don't choose the vaccine, you're choosing death and you're choosing a surge and another surge. Pandemics last for years. We know that. We're very educated people. Pandemics last for years. The only thing that will stop them is the vaccination. Which one do you choose? We're very intelligent people. Thank you. I am not a doctor or a scientist, but I am intelligent enough to believe the people who have been studying this for decades. You either choose to get vaccinated or you're choosing death, not just for yourself, but for others around you. My God, are we so up far up our own asses. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.